Hello, hello, you guys. Today I will be doing a pour similar to the last pour that I did with the negative space in the middle here. And then the ends, instead of doing the Dutch pour, I'm going to do puddle pours on the end because I wanted to see the last time uh, all of the paint spread out on the end. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Today, my negative space will be this color here. This is a gray. This is just a gray that I've mixed up from my white and black artist law. So I just created this myself. This is gonna be my negative space. I don't think I want as much negative space though. Let's see, is that kind of even? If not, I'll adjust it. I am going to use the blow dryer, you guys. I'm just playing in the paint. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So I don't even know if I really want to use the blow dryer on that part. Now that I've played in the paint, I'm going to just add some more paint in the spots that look like they uh, are missing coverage. So I can see some spots here. Let me just go in and put paint in those spots. Now, this paint is not as thick as the last negative space paint that I used because that was Amsterdam and I didn't thin that paint out very well. So, it's, this paint is thinner. So, we want enough coverage. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the colors I have here. I have Deco Art White Pearl. And then this is the Folk Art Antique Carper. This is Golden Gold Interference. This is my favorite, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And then I have Amsterdam Persian Rose. And I had this, a little bit of this left over from another pour. This is Amsterdam Deep Gold. Okay, so on my ends here, I want to try uh, the White Pearl on the Now, most likely we'll have to use the blow dryer for this one. This is more paint. Let's give our puddles a try. I definitely am going to go right here on this edge. Maybe a little bit more copper than I wanted. That copper kind of takes over. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm stuck in the paint. It's probably a clump. I haven't used this paint in a while. Get that out. I do not want as much copper. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Rolf. I guess in my mind I was thinking the paint is rolling off the ends. Move faster, move faster. It's either going to be beautiful or a hot mess. And I wasted this paint. <laughs> either way, I won't know unless I do it. Okay, let's see. It's gold. I don't have much of it. They ran out. Well, my last two circles will not have any of this gold. Let's say last one. My last circle will not have any. Okay. And that's okay.
side is a little further over than I want. Just try to blow that over some. And even. Overall, I think it's pretty spectacular, you guys. These colors are awesome. And I didn't even think that it was going to turn out to look like this, but it is gorgeous. I didn't want too much of that carpet, but I really love it. Okay, so I was going to put more here. Let me make sure. Okay, let me bring you guys down for the close-up. Okay, here we are. And so I have it, the camera far off so that I can show you the whole thing. So let me get closer. So you can see that detail there. Those colors are just beautiful together. I thought I was going to get something very bright, but I did use that carper, so I figured it wouldn't be too bright. But I love it. It's not real bright and airy, but it's so rich and, I don't know, chocolatey. Didn't say that right, did I? Looks like chocolate a little bit where the carper is. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, I just think it's um, wonderful. Uh, let me try to turn off the ring light. Okay, that's better. You can see a little better. Look at that shimmer. That gold is fantastic. I just absolutely love it. Tell me what you think, you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Remember to click on the bell so that you receive a notification once I post a new video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Until the next time.